Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install Lightmatica in 2024. Lightmatica is a mod that allows us to use schematics in Minecraft, which can help you build really cool builds you might find online, along with copy and pasting your own build. Now, before we start, this tutorial is super simple. As long as you follow my exact steps, you're going to have no trouble. But if you do have any issues, just leave a comment down below and myself or another viewer will help you out. So if you want to head down to the first link in the description, give it a click and you'll find yourself on the official Fabric website. Fabric is the mod loader required to run Lightmatica. Now, don't click download for Windows and instead click download universal jar. Head to the second link in the description and you'll find yourself on the Curse Forge website. And that's because we're going to be downloading Lightmatica. I'm going to get the top one, which is the most up-to-date version, currently 1.20.4, by clicking the three dots and hitting download. Wait five seconds and your download will begin. But for now, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe leave me a nice comment. Then head to the third link in the description and download Lightmatica's compatibility mod called Mali Lib, which essentially pulls the mods together and allows them to work. Once again, hit file and before you download, ensure it's the same version as the Lightmatica download, which is 1.20.4 for this tutorial. Hit the three dots, download and leave it for five seconds. Great, we have everything downloaded. Close your browser, open up your downloads folder and drag these three files straight to your desktop. Let's start off by right clicking the fabric launcher. Click open with and select Java. Now if you don't have Java as an option to open with this may be because you have never downloaded Java on your computer. Java 17 is essential for running any sort of Minecraft mods. I've already created a very easy tutorial on how to download and install the latest Java. You can find the link to that on screen and in the description along with a jar fix in that video to ensure I can get this to work for you as quick as possible. Once you have Java and you've opened Fabric with Java, you'll see the mod system installer, which looks like this. So here, once again, we need to make sure everything is compatible. So if all the mods we've downloaded are 1.20.4, select 1.20.4. Obviously, if you've got newer versions, then select a newer version. Ensure create profile is ticked and hit install. I must stress that if for some reason the download fails, it's probably because you have either Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher currently open. So ensure you've got both of them closed. If they are closed and it's still not working, Working, it may be because you haven't played the current version of Minecraft yet. So what you need to do is open Minecraft, open the launcher and load up 1.20.4 for example. When you're on the title screen, simply close it down and then retry the launcher. If everything is good however, you'll see it's successfully installed and we can now delete the launcher from our desktop. Next we want to install our mod. So open the Minecraft launcher and you should now see Fabric in the bottom left as an option when launching Minecraft. If you see this, that's great. If you don't, click installation ensure modded is ticked, click new installations, hit the versions drop down menu and find fabric in that list. On the installations page look for the folder looking icon next to fabric and give it a click. This is your official Minecraft folder and you should see a folder called mods. If you don't that's fine, just right click, create new folder and rename it to mods but ensure it's spell and looks exactly the same as how I've done it. Put up that folder and now drag our two mods into this folder. Close that folder down and hit play. Once Minecraft is launched, you should see fabric in the bottom left, which reassures us that everything's going well and working so far. When you load a world in Minecraft, there's usually no obvious signs that Lightmatica is actually working. So try hitting M on your keyboard. We should bring up this video. If you'd like a tutorial on how to use this mod, leave a comment and I'll do that just for you. Please like if this video helped you out and have a lovely day. Goodbye.